Good afternoon, the Autism Directory, Suzanne speaking, how can I help? There are so many families still in 2019 who call our helpline, come down to see us and say they're alone, they feel isolated, they just feel that there's no support, no one listens. And one of the things that keeps being told to us by uh, the public that come in is we are the first people that have ever listened to them. We get no funding for what we do, so everything that we do is is sort of generated by fundraising. Um, so we look at every possible angle of, of where we can do that. So like I mentioned supermarkets, um, we cover quite a large amount of supermarkets across the South Wales area. Um, and we, we sort of reach out further and further each time. We have um, our help hub, so we help and support autistic people and families to get diagnosis, to get employment support, benefit support. We have our employment job clubs, which we link in with local job centres to run. In the process, we've supported about 100 autistic people to move closer to employment. So we sort of train them up to a level within the job centre. Um, and then from there, we look at getting them into employment. Um, some of them even come to work here. There's a lot of myths surrounding autism and we want to bust those myths. So we're looking at people's individual skills and giving them mean meaningful employment that changes their lives. We also have our Welsh Autism Show. It's been rebranded this year, so it's called Tad Live. So, um, today's talk is about my years in primary school. Being shy, wasn't sure how much confidence was in was in this uh, was in this uh, personality when I was a kid, and fit, fitting in felt like a daunting task. I can just remember thinking there was so much fun. As it, isn't that what life is about? Isn't it about having as much fun as you can, and not worrying so much about you know whether people like you or not? I can speak to anybody now. I wouldn't have been able to have done it if it not for those skills. It's absolutely like, so remarkable, you know, they start off as these really shy, timid individuals and then when they finished, they're on sort of cloud nine and they've had 50 people standing up clapping for them. You know, there's tears when, they, when people hear the stories and it's just, it's just amazing, it really is amazing. 60% of our staff are autistic and you spend five minutes in the office and it's just, you know, a fantastic place to work. We would be nothing without the team that we've got here, it's such a special place to be. Um, each individual brings so much to the table and it just makes the charity work so well. I've worked in the autism field for 15 years now and I've never ever worked with such a dynamic forward thinking team. It's incredible.